Hey guys, my name is Weefies. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I want to be doing something that I'm going that I wanted to be covered for a while now, but it seems nobody has really done it. So today we're going to be looking at the three forms of tapping in Minecraft, or at least the three ones that I'm aware of, or two and a half, because I'm sure most of you have never heard of seven tapping. We're going to be going over W tapping, S tapping, and seven tapping to see which one is the most effective in particular for sumo duel but i guess in pvp will have its own take away from this video as well in general pvp like a uhc or a classic and this is just high pixel references but this can be applied to larger scales regardless we're going to be starting off with w tapping now i will provide a tutorial for s tapping however i will not for w tapping because i have already shown you guys how to w tap that is its own video in the top right right now if you do want to watch it i think i explain it really well why it works, why it's such a great method, and I think you will learn a lot if you do want to get better at the PvP game, then maybe consider checking out the video about W tapping, it will probably help you a bunch. Regardless, W tapping is a pretty good method for sumo PvP. Uh, compared to S tapping, it is less of a risk, and I'll give you the brief overview on how to W tap. So when you W tap, in Sumo Duel, the arena is considerably smaller, so you have a chance of winning by spamming W, but pretty much the main takeaway of W tapping is what you want to do is you want to let, you want to hold your W and your sprint key. In my case, that's left control. In my case, that's left shift. For you guys, it might be left control or R, but whatever you have is your sprint key, you hold that down and then untap W the moment you hit someone and then put your finger back down on it really fast. But what this does is it resets your sprint, giving you more knockback. That was the brief overview of that. Now let's move on to S tapping. Now, if you are wondering, I will in the end conclude which one I think is better. But first, I'm going to go over all three of the methods and then explain a bit about each of them, why they work, pros and cons. And then at the very end, I will conclude what is the best for sumo duel and then in general PvP because they do have their differences. So, yeah, let's get right into S tapping. So S tapping is kind of interesting because it's very similar to W tapping, but it is very different in one crucial aspect obviously hitting S, but also that it slows down or actually halts your forward motion. Now when you're W tapping, you're always running forward. For that fraction of a second that you're stopping to untap W, it's pretty much irrelevant because if you do it fast enough, that's what makes W tapping so effective. You're continuing the combo. However, S tapping is different because when you tap S, you are stopping. You are moving backwards for a fraction of a second, depending on how long you tap it, and then you are waiting waiting to be hit by that person and this can be very dangerous because you then are losing your forward momentum which gives your opponent gives your opponent the opportunity to combo you even harder however all this being said why would you even consider s tapping well that's because its strategical value is immeasurable s tapping provides something that a lot of players overlook in pvp being unpredictable most players will charge at you head on, and most will strafe, as we will cover in 7 tapping. However, S tapping has a focus of stopping and then hitting your opponent as they come towards you. The key to S tapping is that it requires slightly more CPS, I'd say around 7 to 8, and that should be fine, 7 to 9, or 7 and up even, that works as well. And S tapping, it's unpredictable. Now, in a sumo duel, your opponent won't learn about your methods too much, and often the arena is too small, they won't have time to adapt either. Which is why S tapping is such a viable strategy. A brief tutorial for S tapping will be provided. However, the gist of S tapping is as such: instead of just spamming as uh, span of just spamming S like you would do a W tapping for W, S tapping you have to be much more strategic because it does require you to know when you're gonna tap S to avoid being comboed extremely hard. Because of course, running forward will give you less of a chance, so S tapping is risky, and the risk does lead to a high reward in this case. Tapping S after you hit your opponent is amazing because what that does is you hit them forward. Let's suppose you hit them one block or two blocks back. That's the usual knockback when you're not both engaged in heavy combat. And as you can see by the clips that you've been running by, S tapping is so much more knockback because after you hit someone, you tap, you tap S and then you just run forward again. And after you hit them, you tap S and then run forward again with W pressed down. And by tapping, I mean tap and untap. So hold and unhold very quickly. And this does a very good job of canceling your sprint 
and then giving you time to readjust. Because when you stop and your opponent is running towards you, it does give you a chance to hit them in a more effective manner. So S-tapping does require a bit more timing, but it of course is very easy and beginners can learn it. It's not very hard and it does work pretty well as shown by the background footage. Moving on to 7 tap. I might have been crushed by Steven7, but then he introduced me to something called 7 tapping. And before I get into that, I want to tell you guys that S-typing is a great strategy, but it does matter when you, you, when you do tap S, because in certain situations when you're right on the edge, tapping S is not a good method, because if you miss, it's over. S-typing should be used cautiously. You don't have to worry about it too much, but in certain situations, as you could have seen by preceding clips, I didn't tap S. I didn't spam it because it would have led to my death. So that's just something to consider. But Steven7 is a sumo legend, as shown by the Hypixel Duel title. He not he just destroyed me three games in a row, and I ended up he ended up friending me, and we talked about it for a little, and he gave me his advice. And thus, seven tapping. Stephen had an emphasis on unpredictability, which S-tapping does quite well, but not well enough. And that's where it comes to strafing. W-tapping consists of running towards your opponent full steam and doesn't require too much thinking in game. But what Stephen suggested was that you AD strafe as fast as possible, spamming A and D uh, about, about half of a second each per key, like you hold A for half a second, hold D for half a second, and then this spam back and forth while W tapping is going to be very effective. While this is a considerably harder method, I only lost once while doing this method. That said, I did not face any professionals, but I only lost once while 7 tapping, and it is considerably harder because you will hit W in a different interval than A and D. Sort of like playing piano. One, you can play something completely different with your right hand than you do with your left hand. So being comfortable hitting A and D at regular intervals while pressing D, I mean, while pressing W while fighting a person at specific moments is very important to know how to do. Anyway, that is 7 tapping in a nutshell. Spam strafing and you will succeed, maybe. All this rough method does require more precision and practice and overall knowing when to W tap. And if you still haven't watched the video, go to the i card in the top right and watch the W having video because it is important to know how to W tap because then you know how to counter it as well. But let's get into which method was the best method. So all in all, what's the best method? Well, I think the best method out of the three is W tapping. Now, the reason it's better than seven tapping is because it's foundational. 7 tapping is just an extension of W tapping, and once you've mastered W tapping, adding strafing on isn't that bad. W tapping is just, it doesn't halt your momentum, and that's why it makes it better than S tapping. S tapping has the potential of being more effective, but for beginners, W tapping is definitely the way to go. It's a higher, it's a lower risk, and a bit less of a reward, but not too noticeable of a difference. So overall, for sumo, and for regular PvP, W tapping is the way to go. Maybe for Sumo you could make an argument for S or 7 tapping, but for regular PvP on the ground, you want to go with W tapping. It's just a much more effective method. However, there is something crucial that we have been missing about PvP. Strafing. So in the next tutorial, get ready. We're going to be going over AD strafing, circle strafing, and maybe even hacker PvP. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.